So, Mr. D, we have Karen here. That means cooking demonstration. You excited about that? Food. You better yeah, food. food. You better. Yes. Always. Good <laughs> food. Too. Good food. Yes, yes. you do prepare mm -hmm. good meals oh, for well, us. So, you. we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, what will you be preparing for us today? Today, I'm going to be pre preparing a garden skillet. Uh -huh. And in the garden skillet, we have zucchini, yellow bell pepper, green and red bell pepper, grape tomatoes, and onion. Now okay. you can substitute any vegetables that you want to make this at home, but okay. these are the ones that I chose. All right. All right, so for this particular recipe, what we do, I've already warmed up the skillet. So we're gonna add some oil to it so everything doesn't stick. Not too much oil. So does it matter what kind of oil you use? It does not matter okay. which type yeah. of oil that you use. This is canola. I usually have olive oil at home. The recipe specifically says vegetable oil, okay. but you don't have to go purchase anything different than what you would usually use to right. have that. Okay. Right. So we have that going. I have already chopped up all the vegetables, so everything is already mixed up in here <laughs> together. And other than the tomato, all these vegetables are pretty hard. So mm -hmm. it's going to take a few minutes for these to actually cook. Looks good. But it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I love vegetables because of the colors. They just mm -hmm. enhance your plate anyway. And then we haven't even added anything else to this. It's just the vegetables. It's and they look pretty delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna eat this, Mr. D. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna let these cook for a few minutes. And then we're going to add some Italian dressing to the mix. And then after that, it'll be about five more minutes. And then we'll add the Parmesan cheese to it. And then we can do our taste test. All right. uh, vegetables are nature's medicine. Okay. A lot of things that we get from vegetables, the vitamins and the minerals that we get from those, we can take those instead of taking a lot of pills. Hmm. All the things in the pharmacy on, that vit on the vitamins aisle, they were derived from something in nature. And of course, you already know sure. this. And like you said at the beginning of the show, that vegetables are at the peak of production right now. They are. So anything yes, that are. you have in your garden, you can go grab that, go wash it off, chop it up, put it in your skillet, and it's good to go. See, I can already smell the onions mm -hmm. and the peppers cooking, mm -hmm. and it smells delicious. Right, so right from the backyard to the plate. From the backyard mm. to the plate. Mm -hmm. You can't beat that. Can't beat that. At all. And um, I want to add that since it's the summertime and the farmer's markets are going on, you don't just have to go to Kroger or Walmart or any of the major grocery stores mm -hmm. to get do your shopping. You can support the local farmer's sure. markets. There's farmer's markets all over the city. Right. We have and a lot here. A do. whole lot. And we actually have an intern with the Ascension, the Ascension office that is going to two farmers markets. She's going mm -hmm. to the Methodist South Farmers Market on Monday afternoons, and she's at the South Memphis Farmers Market on Tuesday morning, Thursday mornings into the afternoon. Okay. And she does food demonstrations just like what I'm doing right now. Wow, so, so she does it there, actual demonstrations. She actually does oh, demonstrations right there on site. And we had she a- She doesn't have to carry the food there. She, she does it. Yeah. She can yeah, just grab good. it right. and use it. And we actually, the first week that we went at the Methodist Hospital Farmers Market, a lady tasted the food. Okay. And then she went straight out to the producers and went to purchase everything that she needed to put into the recipe. Hey, there you have so, it. So that's great. There you have it. All right, so I'm going to add my Italian seasoning. And it calls specifically for Italian It's seasoning. called okay. specifically for Italian seasoning. Now, I haven't tried this with like a, a vinaigrette, but I know that you would probably want a vinegar-based dressing to use with this recipe. Wow, that smells good. See, mm -hmm. already smells good. <laughs> like you can actually use dressing, uh -huh. not just on raw vegetables, on cooked vegetables. On cooked vegetables. <laughs> and we just keep on turning them occasionally. You really want to pay attention to your onions. Once they get that translucent color, mm -hmm. you're closer to being done. The tomatoes will be a little bit softer than all the other vegetables, but they still will be delicious mm -hmm. yeah no but we're um gonna let this cook for about five more minutes and then we'll add our parmesan okay all right so these onions the majority of them are starting to look translucent so it looks mm -hmm. like we are ready to add our parmesan i'm gonna turn the heat down okay
Yeah, it didn't take too long. It didn't long. take too long. Yeah. No. This looks like something I can do. Can you do this, Mr. D? You think you can handle this? I think I could do that. <laughs> you think I you really can? do. I think I could. I know you can, Mr. D. <laughs> and you too, Chris. Oh, we could do it. Yeah. But I made this at home one time because we did a demonstration with some youth. And they liked it. But oh, they the, ate it? Yeah. Huh. Uh, but a few of them were like, oh, I want to eat some meat. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the beef? So, yeah. <laughs> I understand that. Uh-huh. He understands that. He does. So. Yes. Hard but thing to get over. I actually made it at home the that same week, and I had some grilled chicken that I oh, chopped up oh, and put yeah, into oh, it. Yeah. And it, it worked it, really it. good. It did not hurt it, it at all. Hurt it all. <laughs> yeah. So... This is a little chicken, a little sausage, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> possibly some maybe. shrimp. Yeah, a oh, shrimp. yeah, shrimps, they'll probably yeah. be delicious. I bet you. Yeah, just it could be like a stir fry, but some yeah. different type of vegetables in it, <laughs> and the way that you cook it, the sauce. But um, this is pretty much all that you have to do: chop up your vegetables, okay. cook them up for about five to ten minutes, add your well, add your Italian seasoning, cook it up for about another five minutes, add your Parmesan cheese, and you're good to go, so we're ready to taste. You, wow. you want to try it out? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Wanna try, try that. Of course. All right. And Karen, as you're doing that, I would like to mention that this recipe will be on our website. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely want folks to try it out. And then they can add some of that stuff, Mr. D. Yeah, likes, then you right? can add those other things. <laughs> All right, here Absolutely. You go, Chris. We'll let Mr. D have it oh, first. Here you yeah. go, Mr. D. Yeah, he's, oh, I, he's you. eyeballing thank, it yeah, thank pretty you, good thank over you. there. <laughs> I almost grabbed you by the arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look Don't attack me, Mr. D. <laughs> I had some for you. Okay. Yeah, that looks here good. Here you go. That's for sure. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll take a quick bite of that. Mm. Mm. And this is our garden skillet sizzle. Mm hmm. Nothing at yep. all wrong with that. Mm. That's really good. Oh, it has oh, really good, good flavor yeah. and taste to it yeah. as mm. well. Yeah. And then it's right. still the colors still look nice. Though. The color mm -hmm. looks good. Everything mm -hmm. looks good. Karen, we thank you much for this cooking demonstration. You're so welcome. Thanks good. for having me again. Thank I you for being it. here as always. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.